Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another awesome episode of Comics Stuff. My name is Devin, I am your host as always. Thanks for tuning back in, um, appreciate all the support. Today we're going to be talking about how to invest in comic books. So I've made a couple of videos uh, you know, that talk about which comic books to invest in, um, and then if you guys watch my Comic Sense 101 uh, playlist, there's a lot of stuff that kind of like introduces people to the comic industry or the nerd industry, how to survive Comic Con, things like that. And so uh, one of my fans, once again, they suggested that um, I talk about how to figure out how to invest in comic books so it's all really simple stuff i'm not like uh you know like a, a like a broker or anything like that like i don't i don't have any like financial background like that but these things are all fairly simple and you, you can do the, you can do this on your own uh you know just like on your phone if you have the ebay app or or you know comic connect if you have a, an account um or if you just pay attention to icv2 or ivc2 whatever um or comicron so let me just kind of talk to you guys about that um so to invest in comic books, you're going to have to do a few things. One, uh, pay really close attention to television and movies. Make sure that you are kind of like in the know-how for, um, you know, what comic, sh you know, what comic series might be made into a TV show, what superheroes may be getting movies. That's probably the first and foremost, like, point for anybody to make. And that's probably the first thing that most people think of is um, paying attention to movies and television. That's what makes comics boost Um you know, whatever in, in value. So, um, secondly, look for first appearances. That's kind of like one of the other things is first appearances. If so, if it's somebody's favorite character, their first appearance is probably worth a little more money than, you know, second appearance, eighth appearance, 23rd appearance, you know, nobody really cares. The first appearance, the very first time it's, it's, uh, it's kind of like one of those significant historical things just you know people if you know if, if you have your favorite character is aquaman like one of mine is uh you know i want his first appearance but his first appearance is you know twenty thousand dollar comic book um not a good example but you get the idea so first appearances are always a uh, little more valuable than the other books um same thing with first printings so a first printing may be much more valuable than a third printing um, just because the first printing is generally like a limited run until they find out if it's popular enough to do a second printing and if there's even more demand then they'll do a third printing unless there's also like a special variant that comes after the first printing that you know for example the uh, series Saga in 2012 they had their first printing which is valuable but then their fourth printing was is actually like a like a five a limited to 500 print run um, special edition cover that's worth like you know 10 times the first printing of the number one so make sure that you guys are paying attention to that um, a great resource for that would be mycomicshop.com because generally speaking they will have a list of all the different variants and how much they're worth um, or at least if they have them in stock if not you can at least see the different variants and then look them up elsewhere to find out you know whether or not they're going to be valuable so um, variants are important um, comicron and icv2 so like i letter i c v like victor two like comes after one or one plus one so icv2 or comicron those both are websites that pay attention to trends in the comic book industry how much um you know single issues are sp are selling for as opposed to um trade paper trade backs um they also talk they also have like lists of the hottest hundred comics in within a quarter <laughs> oh excuse me um <laughs> so Anyhow, um, so those are both great, you know, things to um, pay attention to. I know that Comicron, I think it's Comicron, they also release like a white pages thing each year where they will have like all their top statistics. So that's a great thing to work with. Um, and then there's also, uh, I mean, there you have uh, Total Comic Mayhem. So there's a guy who runs a website called Total Comic Mayhem. Um, and his website compiles key issue lists of basically every comic you can think of you know if you want to do golden age batman you know golden age superman or silver age uh spider-man you know bronze age x-men whatever um he will generally have a list of every single first appearance or significant event um in you know in order uh how much you can find you know how much you can generally expect to pay for them and where you can currently find them on his website so that's total comic mayhem so um yeah, Total Comic Game is great. And then I think one of the best resources, in my own personal opinion, is just go up to the comic shops and the dealers at comic conventions and just ask. Uh, don't don't be like, you know, just walk up and be like, hey, I want you to, you know, but 
talk to them, you know, be polite, just be like, hey, man, I'm trying to learn what what can you say I, I expect. And generally speaking, because um, that's kind of like how I got started with like just talking to the guys at comic conventions. Generally speaking, they're really nice. And a lot of, you know, some people may say otherwise, but the guys that I deal with, um, they have, you know, they're they're very uh, they know what they're talking about. They're you know really kind because they they love an aspiring collector because that's customers for them, you know as well. Um, and yeah, just you know uh, gain their knowledge. It's it's a great resource. Just going to your local comic shop or convention and just talking to them. So um, so long story short, you know how to invest in comic books. First and foremost, number one, pay attention to movies, television. Uh, number two, look at first appearances and look at uh, variant covers. Uh, oh, and first prints. Uh, number three, uh, follow Comic Cron or ICV2 or IVC2, whatever. Follow them. Uh, four, watch things like Total Comic Mayhem. And there's other websites like that. Five, um, talk to your dealers at your local Comic Cons or comic shops. And uh, last but not least, number six, which I didn't mention, um, subscribe or follow all your comic book news outlets cbr which is comic book resources comicbook.com uh bleeding cool things like that um those particular sites especially cbr comic book resources have all the top insight on basically everything and you'll get like daily newsletters from them so they're great for finding out what's going on in the comic book industry so follow those six steps and um, I think you're off to a good start. The rest is all experience, you know, so I can't really, there's not really, really like a how-to guide. But I really hope that this video was kind of like helpful for at least guys on my level who are kind of, you know, not, not crazy experienced. They don't have 40 years on their belt, uh, you know, of dealing comics or anything like that. So um, if this video was helpful, leave a like. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. And if uh, this video was really great, hit the subscribe button. Just smash that. And uh, make sure you follow me for more fun videos like this every single week. Um, this video is part of my Comic Sense 101 playlist, which has videos that help introduce people to the comic industry. If you are an experienced comic book veteran, this playlist probably isn't for you just because it's all for people who are new. Um, I've recently gotten a, a, a string of comments or Facebook messages just being like, hey man, these aren't that great because I've been doing this for a long time. Well, it's not geared towards you. If you want to watch these anyways, great. If you want to recommend your friend who's new and wants to get into it, great. But, you know, if you're going to complain, not great. Lame. Uh, follow somebody else. Um, and if you are new, welcome. You know, I'm, I'm here for you guys. You know, I want you guys to be comfortable when you go to Comic-Con. Make sure you don't feel super out of place. I want you guys to be able to, uh, you know, kind of know what you're doing. So, um, yeah, that's it. Smash that like button. Uh, smash the uh, subscribe button. And I will see you all next week. Oh,